Good evening and welcome to the Bryan County Pot Patriots Spotlight Game. This week it is a rivalry game from South Bryan County. It is actually in Colbert and it is underway. We're in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium tonight. A little bit different venue than where the Leopards have been playing of late. They have the big new facility a little ways across campus, but a little retro action tonight. Why not with the rivalry game between these two? Actually, Eagles in blue tonight, and the hometown Colbert Leopards in the home white jerseys. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to be with you on this Bryan County Patriots spotlight game tonight. The 2018 portion of the 2018-2019 schedule just about in the books as things are winding down here on this first semester of the school year. Of course, the kids are all excited about that, but basketball, at least this half of it, nearly in the books. And a steal from Summer Raiders. She's going to take it the other way. She'll be fouled by Sydney Bowers. And let's get the starting lineups to you right now. For actually the visitors on the scoreboard tonight, it is a senior wearing number one, Summer Raider, to inbound the ball. Number 11, a junior, Jackie Todd. Number 30, a senior, Jamie Todd. Number 32, a junior, Kira Manry. And a number 45, a freshman, Riley Stenglin. Lady Eagles come in, having won three straighter now, seven and three on the year. As Todd drives, that one just quite won't fall. And Hannah Rhodes with the rebound. For the Colbert Lady Leopards, wearing the home white jerseys here. Number three with the ball, Sydney Bowers. She is a freshman to number five, Presley Jordan, a sophomore. And Jordan's shot is up and in. Colbert on the board here first. Also for the Lady Leopards, with full court pressure there, number 20, a senior, Tori Buck. Number 12, a senior, excuse me, Tori Buck. Shot no good, rebound and put back, still won't fall. And the Lady Eagles, no success on the offensive end. Foul charge to the freshman Stanglin. It will be her first foul of the evening. Again, number 20, Hannah Rhodes, a senior. Number 12, Tori Buck, a senior for Colbert. And a junior, number 35, Kenzie Coker. Lady Leopards come in six and six on the year. A victory over Coleman on Monday. And that one a little bit short on the baseline from Bowers. Maybe a tie ball. I want to say thanks to our sponsors for tonight's doubleheader here from Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Commerce Finance, Sherwin-Williams, Mackey's Home Appliances, and Durant Drug. Commerce Finance presenting our first quarter tonight here as a foul will Allow the Lady Leopards to bring this one in baseline. Foul charged to the senior, Jamie Todd. Her second, or excuse me, first personal second team foul. Bowers is going to keep it for a little while. Actually in a Man defense. And now it's Jordan up top. Back over to Bowers. Trying to find an opening. That one looked, thought it might have been kicked on the inside by Todd. And ultimately, it's going to wind up staying with Colbert. That foul charge to Raider. Summer Raider's first foul of the night. Third team foul against the visiting Eagles. Big rivalry matchup between these two schools here in South Bryan County. Been going at it for a long time. Still that man defense offered, and Manry not really wanting to go out too far on road. She's going to give a little room. Now backing down low. The pressure. Shot from long range. That one bounces around. Will not fall for Buck. And we have another foul against the Lady Eagles, and that's going to Cause Coach Jay DePanion to go to his bench. In doing so, Jamie Todd, after having picked up her second personal foul, will take a seat. That brings in a sophomore, Taylor Davis, wearing number 24 for the Lady Eagles. Inside look off the glass and good. A nice pass from Leah Brown who checked in. Excuse me, that was for Tori Buck, I apologize. 
And Kinsey Coker with her first two of the night. It's 4 nothing. Long range shot, no good. Rebound down low by the Lady Eagles, and the foul will go against Buck. Lots of contact here in the early going. Lady Eagles come in after having won three straight pass inside. That will draw the foul, and it will send Stanglin to the line to shoot two. And foul looks to be charged to Buck. Student section on the baseline here in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. First free throw, no good from Stanglin. You get to see that on the left side of your screen there. That one, as the bank is open even this late, <laughs> actually on the board after a banked-in free throw. 4-1 the score. Buck will drive in among the trees off the glass. No good. Rebound put back. No good. And Stanglin with the board. We'll look for Summer Raider. Pass over to Todd. Open for a little while, and she'll dribble out and get it back to Raider. Stop, running jumper off and good. Didn't use the glass that time. Looked like it was gonna go off the glass and Raiders on the board for the first time. Key offensive piece for this Ashley Eagles team. No good, shot long for Brown. And Buck tries the long range jumper. That one over the backboard. Here comes some full court pressure, well, nominal pressure at best, that man-to-man -man look, and Raider will simply dribble past Jordan. Raider now, left wing three. Count it! Summer Raider has five points tonight, and actually with the first lead of the game, and Coach Whitney Robinson calls a timeout. The Lady Leopards are going to think about this one for just a little bit. 2807 West University Boulevard. That's where you're going to find Commerce Finance, and they can take care of all kinds of loans for you. Give them a visit today. It's Commerce Finance in Durant. The well, Raider starting to find a little bit of rhythm here. Made the last five points for the Lady Eagles. Homecoming queen for Ashley this year. Coach Robertson not happy with the way things go for eh, a little while there. Let's see if she can bring something in out of the timeout. For three, left wing. That one a little bit short. And the tip will go off the Lady Leopards. Head to the actually side again. Leah Brown a little long. Todd open, finally takes the jumper. That one too long, long rebound to Brown. Out to Jordan, one-on-one. -on -one. Gets around Raider, who doesn't want to pick up the second personal foul that quickly, but can't make the shot. Taylor Davis, a sophomore. Top of the key over to Raider now, looking inside. Stanglin, one dribble, splits defenders. She'll go to the line. Foul charge to Kenzie Coker. And it is now the fourth team foul against the Lady Leopards. First free throw rims out. Cold night here in Colbert as the cold front has made it down to Bryan County. Rain, lots and lots of rain coming down to Colbert tonight. And Stenglin can't convert on either free throw attempt. She's now one for four from the line. Raider close contact that time. Todd knocks it away, and Jordan will get it back. And Raider simply not going to give up on this. They're giving her room to play on defense. Lady Leopards keep possession here.
Buck driving in, looking down low. Nice block from Manry, the junior. Sends that one out the baseline. No good looks on the inside for Rhodes. Conlon will continue here. 6-4. Five consecutive points for Ashley, and it will at least stay that way or another trip. Try to add to that one. Buck shot a little bit short. Todd stops, now drives on in. Contact, no whistle. Rebound will go to Coker. And Todd will step on the line. Offense had a bit of a premium here. Nice look inside. Cutter down low, and Buck doesn't get the open look. Have to get those to fall. Those will come back and haunt you a little bit later on. Long pass down the court. Todd this time still a little bit short. Rebound to Rhodes, and she'll take it herself. Three on two. Goes all the way down. Tried to look down low to find Jordan. Can't do it. And the Eagles will get it back. Colbert, we mentioned, coming in to win over Coleman, 50-44. to 44. One and two in the Bennington tournament last week. Buck, as that one goes right through the hands of Davis. Buck will be fouled by Raider going up, and she'll go to the line. And for Summer Raider, that will be foul number two. Eagles really don't want to lose her on offense. She has two fouls here in the first quarter. And Tori Buck will go to the line for the first free throw attempts of the night for the Lady Leopards. High bounce and off to the side. Offense at a premium. Misses them both. And another opportunity now for the Lady Eagles. Davis to Raider now. Raider with a little bit of an opening. Not much. Todd, the mid-range jumper falls. She's been wanting it on that right side for a while. And Jackie Todd's first field goal of the night. And the Lady Eagles have doubled up the Lady Leopards here. 8-4. Raider stepping through and stepping on the line. Raider a solid player on offense, but she's the most aggressive player on the Lady Eagles defense as well tonight. I want to pick up that third foul, though, here in the first quarter. Look inside. Rhodes has that just taken away. Gets it back. Brown, three. Count it. Leah Brown. Back to a one-point game just like that. Todd looks back off the glass, and Manry's first field goal of the night. Count that one. It's back to a three-point advantage now for the Lady Eagles. Actually, with the height advantage, post play seemed to have the advantage size-wise. Really haven't utilized that much tonight so far. Manry's first field goal of the night, and Stangland's gone to the line. Four times, made only one. That one, Manry gets a hand on it. Second block of the evening. And shot doesn't count. Would not have gone in anywhere, excuse me, would not have counted anyway, doesn't fall. And 10-7, the Lady Eagles with a three-point advantage after the first period. That first quarter brought to you by Commerce Finance, 2807 West University in Durant. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors tonight. We appreciate them allowing us to bring you the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game.
Back here to Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. We honor the longtime Colbert Leopard legendary coach here. And if you've been in this gymnasium before, you may recognize there have been some improvements in here. It's been done up well. Ready to host this rivalry game tonight. Inside look to Manry, and she has two more points. And the Lady Eagles now up by five. Largest lead of the night. Brown for three. Her second long-range shot is good. She has a game-high six, and keeping the Lady Leopards in this. Work done out in the lobby as well here, and the crowd continues to file in on a cold and wet night. Davis, top of the key. The long Bucks board. She'll slow it down, leave behind for Brown to bring it down. Brown, <laughs> the mid-range jumper is not going to fall. She's done well from the outside, but inside, not so much. Got a couple of big wins for this Colbert team. Again, 6-6 six and six on the year. Victory at Calera, 46-42 a little earlier. And a win here in Colbert, 67-58. Matchup of a couple of the two... Two A schools here in Bryan County. Raider for three. That one long. Saved. Todd will get it back. She'll be fouled. Go to the line. Jackie Todd to shoot two. And Kenzie Coker will pick up another personal foul. Sixteen foul now levied against the Lady Leopards. Brown, that one a little bit short. Takedown in the corner. Crowd not happy about that. It's Buck and Raider mix it up. Todd's going to come away, and that one slapped away. This one's starting to get physical here in Colbert. Jordan driving in. And Buck for three, well off the mark. Talk about these hometown Lady Leopards. Again, one and two in the Bennington Tournament. Win over Victory Life. Losses to Caney and Milburn. Manry, one dribble and will kick it out. Stanglin now for three. That one's too long. And Todd, right place, right time, right side, and two more. Jackie Todd with four tonight. Lady Leopards are going to keep it. Second chance on the offensive end. In this second quarter, presented by Mackey Home Appliances in Durant. Pass inside to Rhodes. Too strong, and Raider with the board. Skip pass to Todd. It was a low pass. Leopards let it go through. Looks inside. Stanglin off the glass and in. Riley Stanglin's first field goal of the night. Six here in the second quarter. Well, the actually Lady Eagles, and it's the largest lead of the game. Around the horn. Lady Eagles content. So let the long range shot go through. Two zone now, and Jordan steps inside the arc. 17 footer good for Presley Jordan. Nearing the midpoint here in the second quarter, and Colbert sticking around. Pass 
as Manley was able to reach out, Manry able to reach out and grab it. Two post look for the Eagles. And Todd has time to think about that three and drains it, Jackie Todd. Five here in the second quarter. Largest lead of the night now for Ashley, starting to expand that advantage. And Coach Robertson will go to the bench. See if she can bring in some new life, fresh breath, as uh, Tori Buck has that shot go along, and the rebound not corralled by the Lady Leopards. So Bowers comes back in, as does Skylar Phillips, wearing number 11 for the Lady Leopards. Jordan will take a seat. Leah Brown gets a breather as well. Here's full court pressure now. Todd gets past it. Looking inside. Stanglin one dribble. Off the glass. Too strong. Rebound inside. And Stanglin will commit the foul. Now a little bit of a silly foul there. Pick that one up after the board's already been corralled by Coker. And that is team foul number six against Ashley. Looked like there was some question <laughs> as to whether or not that should be free throws. Next one, as both teams are now in the bonus. Rhodes outside. As Coker posting up. One. The long pass. And we have a three in the lane violation. Very nearly a five second defensive violation. Instead, the Lady Leopards pick up the three second. And so that's a good job on defense by Ashley. Nice pressure on the outside. Jamie Todd going out and really just staying within that distance to force nearly a five second violation. As it stands, it's a turnover anyway. Seven-point lead. Pass inside to Manry, and she traveled. Kira Manry with four points tonight. Stay at that one for at least another trip. Pace of the game has slowed down just a bit here as the second quarter has continued along. Rhodes for three, too strong, and well, the Lady Leopards offense slowed down some. Shot from Todd, no good. Stanglin with the putback. The board, she has five. It's 21-12. And there is the inside advantage tonight for the Ashley Lady Eagles. Trying to pick up their eighth win of the year. Phillips around to Bowers now in the corner. Stanglin coming out, extending that zone. Phillips was an open person, but the pass went long and went a little bit behind her, actually. Lady Leopard's taking a little time off the clock now. Trailing by nine, still first half. Not really in a hurry here. Deliberate offense. And we have an offensive foul now. It's going to send it the other direction. No. I didn't think there were going to be free throws to be shot after that. That is the case, though. Jamie Todd will go to the line. One and one opportunity. And it's a situation where the offense just don't get a look well enough. Rebound on the inside by Coker as Todd's free throw is no good. Neither team showing a lot of success tonight from the free throw line. One free throw made all night long. Turnover will give it back to the Eagles, though. You go back to that uh, previous trip for the Lady Leopards. Too much time, and... Not really a, a look toward the basket, and the more it drags out, the opportunities seem to go away. 
Raiders, three-pointer no good. Todd fouled as she goes up. And the junior will go to the line now to shoot two. Jackie Todd with a game-high seven points. 0 for 2 from the free throw line. And it's her first one in from the charity stripe. Substitution for the Lady Leopards. Leah Brown back into the contest. And Todd's second free throw is good. No real breaks in the action here in the second quarter. I do want to say thanks again to all of our sponsors for tonight's contest. As the three-pointer on the right wing is strong and off the apparatus, holding that backboard up. Thanks to Durant Drug, to Mackey's Home Appliances, to Sherwin-Williams, and to Commerce Finance. Skip pass. And around, Stanglin open, look inside, Todd, and Jamie Todd gets her first field goal to fall. And it's 25-12. First half winding down, and Phillips will try the quick three, too strong, rebound on the inside, put back, no good. Manry got a hand on it, and then Coker got a hand on Manry. And that will send Kira Manry to the line to shoot two. We haven't had a time out here, not much time to talk about Mackey's, but uh, they're located at 320 West Main. The corner of 4th and Main in downtown Duran. Now, I'll tell you something, Lazy Boys, they're now on sale at Mackey's Home Furnishings. Check out the latest in reclining sofas, recliners. They're on display with recliners starting at $3.99. And by the way, I have stopped by and uh, had a seat in one of those recliners. I didn't want to get back up. Great furniture at Mackey's Home Furnishings. First free throw, no good, or good. Second, no good. Rebound on the inside, Stanglin. Ball is on the court, and it will be a tie ball. So Manry now. She's one for two from the free throw line. Time winding down here, less than 10 seconds left. Bowers passes inside to Buck. Shot blocked. Time is going to expire in the first half, and the Ashley's Lady Eagles will take a 14-point advantage into the intermission. 26 to 12, that is our halftime score. As we do say thanks to our sponsors again, thank you to Sherwin-Williams, to Durant Drug, to Commerce Finance, and to Mackey's Home Furnishings. By the way, Mackey's also sells appliances with a limited time washer and dryer sale, 379 each. You need to get them while they last, okay? Limited time, sale, 379. By the way, that's Mackey's Home Furnishings, 320 West Main Street, the corner of 4th and Main in downtown Durant.
Welcome back to Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Our halftime score is 26-12. The Ashley Lady Eagles on top. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors for tonight's broadcast as the third quarter is being brought to you tonight by Durant Drug. Also want to say thanks to Commerce Finance, to Mackey's Home Furnishings, and to Sherwin-Williams in Durant. Well, first quarter, first half, numbers look like this. 26-12, Jackie Todd led the way with a game-high eight points. She had six of those in the second quarter as it was a big second quarter for the Lady Eagles, 16-5 run. Summer Raider, Kara Manry, Riley Stanglin, all with five points apiece. Jamie Todd has two. All five starters for Ashley, scoring at least one field goal. And we have a traveling violation as Stanglin took a step up top. Starting five for Ashley back out on the court. Number one, Summer Raider. Number 11, Jackie Todd. Number 30, Jamie Todd. 32, Kira Manry. And 45, Riley Stanglin. Lady Leopards now with the ball. Get it back after the turnover. First possession here in the second half. And starters on the court for the Lady Leopards as well. Number three, Sydney Bowers, who has the ball over to number 12, Tori Buck. Inside, it's 35, Kinsey Coker. Number 20 is Hannah Rhodes, and number five is Presley Jordan. Look inside, nice cutter there. Can't hang on to it. Rhodes is going to get it off the glass, and it doesn't fall. Stanglin with the board. Opportunities that time for the Lady Leopards just couldn't capitalize. Todd, well outside the arc. Lady Leopards now in a zone that's collapsing on the inside. Not wanting, giving, not wanting to give the Lady Eagles any opportunity with those post players now. Content, however, to let Ashley throw the ball around, pass the ball around from the outside. Hey, with the 14-point advantage right now, they can let the rest of the time in the game tick off the clock. Now the defense uh, looked like it's coming out. There's a man look. Stanglin with the ball. And Buck comes out on her. Stanglin to dribble out of it. And it's not necessarily a four corners offensive look, but it definitely is a spread. And actually content. Two touchdown advantage. Might stand. Raider driving to the basket. Her shot no good. Rebound. Lady Leopards. As Rhodes will bring it down and waiting for a teammate to get past the half-court line. Lady Eagles offering a man-to-man -man defense. That one forced from Coker. Needing to make something happen. Ahead to Manry. She's ahead of the pack. She's off the glass and good. Kara Manry. Two more points. Manry now with seven on the night. And we have a timeout on the court. We're going to keep it right here. Tell you about Durant Drug, by the way. Durant Drug, formerly known as Durant Medical Pharmacy. New name, new location. Grant Drug, new facilities as they are located now at 2432 West Main. Go see Bill Cox and all the folks there. Michelle Aller. The pharmacy technicians there at Durant Drug. Again, new location next to Billy Sims Barbecue. That's Durant Drug in Durant. Well, just two points have been scored here in the third quarter. The Lady Eagles, again, with the advantage they have, not trying to force anything on the offensive end. Buck looked like she might have taken a step. Brown steps around the defender. That one just inside the arc, and Leah Brown has two. 
Raider the other direction, quickly off the glass. Summer Raider now. Her first two points since the first quarter. She has seven. Raider made the all-tournament team in the Rock Creek Tournament. The Lady Eagles, the consolation champions over in Bochita. Foul is going to allow Calvert to bring it in, baseline. Brown, she's going to fire again. This one outside the arc and this one a little too long. But the board taken in by Rhodes. Giving Brown a little bit of room on the outside. She's made a pay so far, eight points. Jordan driving in. Manry, another block. Kara Manry making her presence known. And this time, Buck is called for the travel. Tried to stop and just couldn't uh, keep her momentum from taking her that step further. Now we see an extended zone, which falls back into just your regular variety there. Oh, no. Now a man. And now the Culver defense coming out to force the issue a little bit. Raider getting around a defender. One dribble off the glass, and she gets around Jordan. Summer Raider now with nine points. Halfway through our third quarter here, thanks to Commerce Finance, Mackey Home Furnishings, as well as Durant Drug, Brown, <laughs> Leah Brown. Didn't get a chance to thank Sherwin-Williams yet. There they are. Well, she's had the openings, and they are just giving her the opportunity to shoot tonight. She has 11, only player in double figures now, and Manry, double team, ball taken away. Here come the Lady Leopards. Off the glass, shot no good from Rhodes, and Brown with the board. As Jordan will pull it back. Skip pass, finding Buck. Manry again. Kara Manry. Another block. Todd stopped, and Brown commits the foul. Couldn't get her body back in time. Got down there quickly on defense. And that'll be the second excuse me, first team foul charged to Colbert here in the second half. Jackie Todd on the line to shoot two, where she has made three consecutive after missing her first two. She's three for five from the line tonight. Count them both, and we'll take the time out, keep it right here. Third quarter presented by Durant Drug. Thanks to all of our sponsors, Commerce Finance, Mackey Home Furnishings, Sherwin-Williams, and Durant Drug. Who name? Well, formerly Durant Medical Pharmacy. It's going to make it a little bit easier to type in online now. <laughs> Durant Drug. Again, located 2432 West Main in Durant. Right next to Billy Sims Barbecue. Lady Eagles have doubled up on the Lady Leopards. Let's take a look really quickly at, at where we are right now. I can do that. We're in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Jim named in honor of Mr. Wayne Merriman back in 2015. A little more than three years ago, all of his accomplishments as a coach and educator. What a fantastic coach he was here. Five state championships. All-staters, an All-American. You know, when you have 900 wins as a coach, you know things, things have gone well for you in your career as Brown takes an extra step. When you have... 900 more wins than losses as a coach. This on display out in the lobby. 1,444 wins to just 530 some odd losses. Yeah, if you have 
900 more wins in your career than losses. You've done something right. Todd driving in that one. A little short. Manry can't get a hand on it. Todd will get it back. Puts it up. That one tipped in. Sister can't control it. Todd will get it back. Top of the key. There's Raider. One dribble off the glass. And that is money. Summer Raider. Six points. All those shots looking very similar. Taking that one dribble, getting around defender off the glass on the right side. 36-17 the score here in Colbert. Jordan hits the underside of the backboard, and that will be a turnover. Lady Eagles really pulling away in this one now. Raiders long pass down to Stenglin. And she'll back it out. Raider one dribble this time. The pass off the glass. Kara Manry. Two more. And that is what happens when you get one, really one facet of the offense or another going. Defense had to key in on Raider as she's had six points. Takes the one dribble this time. Looks inside for Manry. And and she is just deadly on the inside. Long shot from Buck, no good. Long rebound to Stenglin. And Raider now pushes ahead, finds an opening. She's fouled. Summer Raider will go to the line to shoot two. Foul charge to Kenzie Coker. Second team foul against the Lady Leopards. And Raiders' first free throw is good. As Coker takes a seat now. It's going to bring in the junior Haley Hampton. Hampton wearing number 22. Both of Raiders' free throws good. She now has a game high 13. Eight of those coming here in the third quarter. Jordan gets around Raiders, shot too strong. Jordan's board, and that one a little bit too short. Up and over defenders, couldn't get it to fall to Jackie Todd. Stops, mid-range jumper, a little too strong. Tipped around and controlled by Brown. Looked like she had that look in her eyes as if she was just going to go ahead and try to take it among two or three defenders, but dribbled it off her foot. Davis back in the contest for Ashley. We'll give Stangler a breather. Davis in the corner looking inside. Manry finds a cutter. It's Raider on the left side. She hasn't done that yet tonight. She has now. Two more points, 15 for the senior. Buck is open from the left wing. And she's going to look inside to Jordan. Now, Buck for three. Left wing, good. Tori Buck, first field goal tonight. And they needed that one. Still a pretty wide 20 point, 22 point advantage as time is winding down. Raider, will she get a shot off the pass? Off the glass, good. Kara Manry, give Raider the assist. Manry with two points. She's now in double figures. And the Lady Eagles are pulling away in this one. 44-20 as we are headed to the final quarter. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors, to Sherwin-Williams, to Mackey's Home Furnishings, to Commerce Finance, and Durant Drug, our sponsor for the third quarter.
fourth quarter set to get underway. As the fourth quarter is set to get underway here in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium, the hometown Lady Leopards takes a 24-point deficit. Phillips was open, gives inside to Buck off the glass and good. Tory Buck now has five points in the last 30 seconds of game time here. They've needed her offense. Is it going to be enough to bring them back in? Pass inside to Manry, and Jamie Todd can't control it. Dribbles out, though, or rolls out to Raider. Coach Jay DePanion. You see him there on the Ashley sideline. Raider driving in. She'll get it back in the corner. Trying to get his team to an eighth win on the season. Class A, Ashley. Look inside, double team, and a jump ball. Manry brought it low, and that's exactly what Coach DePanion is saying. So you have to take advantage of that height, taller than both those players guarding you. She brought it down low, and Buck did a good job getting a hand on that one and forcing the dual possession. Ashley keeps it, though. Davis shot a little short. And we have a foul. Corey Buck picks up another foul. 13 foul against the Lady Leopards. Ashley keeps it. Doubling up now on Colbert. Davis the pass inside again, and Manry still double team, not going to take that shot. They kick it back out. Time tick away. Less than seven minutes remain. Back and forth season so far for Colbert. No more than two wins in a row, or two losses in a row, and steal and stolen back the other direction. Six and six, so you think right at 500. It's going to be back and forth. It'd be a bit of an emotional roller coaster ride. Lady Eagles trying to get one more win here before Christmas break. Shot short, but Raider gets her own board, and Davis, first basket of the night. The Raider's been able to score. She has 15 tonight. That's a game high, and she's also been able to distribute the ball as well. That time, got the rebound and an assist, and Skyler Phillips. Long-range jumper is good. Her first basket tonight. Another direction. And Raider will go to the line to shoot two. Hometown crowd doesn't like that. They wanted her momentum to pick up that offensive foul, but Raider will go to the line to shoot two. It's a 21-point advantage. Second free throw rims out. Her first miss tonight. Actually, not a stellar night from the free throw line tonight. Nine for 17. Phillips again. This one a little short. Rebound inside. Put back. No good. And that one knocked away. Tipped by Brown, and Todd able to chase it down, and that's a frustration foul for Leah Brown. Just a little hand in the back. Another foul for Colbert. That's a 15 foul now, starting to add up. It'll be sending Ashley to the free throw line. Leopards coming out some. Raider will dribble around it. Taylor, the pass inside. And Manry, the last one to touch it, the official says. So ref down low. Points in the direction of Colbert, so the Lady Leopards will get this one back. Thanks to our sponsors tonight, including Sherwin-Williams presenting our fourth quarter. And Phillips tries again. Ball tipped away. 
And Raider, that looked like she ultimately came up with it. She didn't. Jordan dishes over to Tori Buck. Buck has four points in the quarter. It's a 20-point game now. Sherwin Williams located at 2012 West Main in Durant. Thanks also to Commerce Finance as well as Durant Drug and Mackey Home Furnishings. Another turnover went through the arms of Summer Raider. And Culver gets it back. Four and change left here in this one as actually the 20 point advantage really controlled from the second quarter on. The 10 7 ball game actually had the lead after the first eight minutes. And in the second quarter, 16 5 stretching of that lead. And it's really been the Lady Eagles throughout the night. Thanks to Sherwin Williams. Again, 2012 West Main in Durant. That is Sherwin Williams. Sherwin Williams paints. Thanks to all the folks out there. Always enjoy looking inside. That gets you taken care of, by the way, for all of your painting needs. Brown gets around Manry. Shot no good. Tied up. Possession arrow favors the Lady Leopards. Inside shot, no good, and a foul. Lady Leopards go to the line to shoot two. Lane violation, second free throw will be waved off. There's a little pressure now. Phillips comes up. Double team as Todd and Raider will play a little back and forth here, and Raider will drive in and to be fouled. Sixth foul. And another one for Tori Buck. Players on the court all around. Looked like there were more players for a moment on the court than on their feet. Buck will just clear space in the lane. Down the court foul as Brown will go to the line to shoot two. And that was that was interesting. I don't think she, she ever moved. Shifted on those hips just a little bit to, to clear some space in the lane and kicked it out. That's the midpoint here in the final stanza as Brown. Her first free throw attempt of the night is good, and that is the first free throw made by the Lady Leopards tonight. She makes them both. Passing the ball around the horn. There's high post is Jamie Todd. Jackie will get it, and she's fouled by Brown. Brown and Buck are teetering dangerously close to that five foul mark. I wonder if this point in the contest, if you just want to go out in style. Jackie Todd. She missed her first two free throws in the first quarter. Made two in the second quarter, two in the third quarter. <laughs> it's now made two here in the fourth quarter. Jackie Todd with 12 points. A 
Back to Buck on the inside. They close it out. Defense comes out, giving Phillips an opportunity. She misses. Brown with another three. Good, Leah Brown. That is her fourth triple of the night. Brown, game high 16 points. She's tied with Summer Raider. Push off on Manry on the inside. She couldn't get the rebound. And Coach Depanion upset. Buck for three. That one's too strong. Long boards of Jordan, and she dribbled it off her foot. Timeout will bring Sydney Bowers back in. And Danica, Danica, excuse me, Olguin checking in now. Bowers number three, Olguin number four. Raider, as she gets around a screen from Manry, and Manry just holding her place down low. Raider with two more now. Summer Raider with 18. Olguin tries the three, count it right wing for Danica. Well, Raider off the glass. They have to guard her. She has five here in the fourth, and you know, Lady Leopards trying to mount some kind of comeback. The rally, though, the difference just too far, especially if you keep giving up points like that. Phillips, as Manry got a hand on it, She's going to take it down the court herself. One on three. Stops. Looks back. Todd for three. Good. Jackie Todd from long distance. And it's back to a 20-point game. Less than two minutes remaining here. And actually, with Todd's three-pointer, may have put it in the books. And the Lady Eagles call a timeout long enough to get substitutions in as Taylor Davis will check back in. Also coming in, a pair of freshmen for Coach Jay DePanion. Number 13, Madison Pointer. And number 21, Tristan Hill. And Manry and Summer Raider, as well as Jamie Todd taking a seat. Smaller lineup back out on the court now for the Lady Eagles. Stanglin back in with the ball. Actually, might be content to run time away. Although you want, you know, when your freshmen come in and get some time, you hate for it to be in a situation where it's simply, simply stalling. You give those freshmen an opportunity to shoot the ball as well. Stangler with one dribble and picks it up. Less than a minute now. Over to Hill. Hill dribbles in, kicks back out. And we have a foul on the court. As that one's going to go against Olguin. And it will send Tristan Hill to the line. Looks like that one was on the court. As Stanglin will take a seat. Sophomore number 20, Katie Holmes, comes in. One and one, no good. Brown, they give her room. She makes them pay. Leah Brown, five three-pointers tonight. Davis now back top of the key pointer back to Davis now in the corner Holmes posting up as pointer dribbles in and wants to kick it out loses it Lady Leopards get it back pass ahead shot off the board no good and Jackie Todd will dribble this clock out the Atchley Lady Eagles will move to eight and three on the year. Count the basket. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Lady Eagles move to eight and three on the year. 
Three more points at the end. Final score is 59-39. Lady Leopards fall to six and seven, heading toward the Christmas break. I want to say thanks again to all of our sponsors tonight. Thanks again to Mackey Home Furnishings. By the way, 320 West Main in Durant. And, again, they sell appliances. They have the limited time washer and dryer sale, 379 each. Get them while they last. As well as Sherwin-Williams, 2012 West Main in Durant. Don't forget about Commerce Finance, 2807 West University Boulevard and Durant Drug. New name, new location. That is at 2432 West Main in Durant. We're going to take a break. As a matter of fact, this broadcast coming to a close. We'll come back. Our second broadcast tonight will feature the boys teams for Ashley and Colbert. Thanks to Jalen McWilliams on camera. I'm Joey McWilliams and the Bryan County Patriots spotlight game in the books. 59-39, the final score. God bless you. Have a great night.